Hey y'all, hey! It's your girl Baya, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, I want to apologize for not bringing you the content, the consistent content for my 12 Days Until Christmas series. I had some things come up that I needed to, you know, take care of, but your girl is back, and I'm ready to keep posting those videos for you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the three-piece bathroom set. Yes, 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 yes. We got a bathroom set that we finna make today. All right. Those are very popular in the sublimation industry community, you know, in the, in the sublimation world. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Mine is um, for Christmas. I made mine for Christmas to put in my bathroom for the holiday. This is the top of the toilet. This is for it goes, you know, around the toilet seat. And this is the rug. So we finna make these. Of course, you can add any design, you know, for any season. I just think these are really cute. And we finna make it together. So make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. We are here in the craft room and what I'm going to be showing you is how to measure each three piece bathroom set and the products that we're going to be using today okay so we have our three piece bathroom sets the toilet top the little piece that goes around the toilet and then our mat these were purchased I think sometime last year from single J Dot com. I am very cool with the owners of Single J Sublimations and um, I purchased a lot of my products from them. They have really high quality products for very, very reasonable prices. So I, you can't beat that. I got my paper and my pencil, some scissors, you need your measuring tape, and the spell. But I'm going to be using my Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray just to keep my transfer in place while I'm pressing. And your handy dandy dent roller. So, let's start measuring. We're going to start off with the top first. And we're going to do height. We are doing full bleed. Meaning the entire substrate is going to be sublimated with the design. So this is about 18 inch, uh, a little under like 17.75. But for me to get my full bleed, I'm going to put it at 18.25 height. And then the width, if you can pay attention to how this is created, right? It's a little bit skinnier up here towards the top and then it gets wider at the bottom. So like right here in the middle is where we want to get our dimensions for the width. And this is literally at about 14 point. We turn it about 14 point, a little under 14.25. I'm just going to do it at 14.5 inches for my extra bleed. With okay, this is done. Now for this, this has this whoop right here, right? So how we're going to measure this is we're going to measure the highest point. If we only measure from here to here, we're going to be disregarding the top when we design. It's going to be printed white. So we want to make sure we measure from the highest point. 
So this is about 15.75 and I'm going to round it to 16.5 16 or 16.25. I'll let you guys know. And this is about 19.75 so I'm going to round it to 20, 20 inches. That's why I got my pencil and paper, y'all, because I'll be forgetting. Oh, we said we're going to do 16.25 or 16.5. Okay. Now, for the big map. Mm, let's see. This is about 19.752, so I probably could do 20 inches. About about thirty two inches. Okay, so we have our measurements. We have our heat press already heat preheat already heated to four hundred degrees. It's four o two, four hundred degrees, four o two, four o one will work just fine as well. So let's head over to designer. Hey y'all! So we are going to be using Canva today to design our three-piece bathroom set. I love Canva. Canva is very user-friendly. I personally do not know how to design. I'm not a graphic designer, but Canva has made my designing process so much easier and I love using this software. So first you'll start off www.canva.com and Canva will populate. I already gone ahead and created the design and measured it up, you know, to the size of our bathroom sets. But if you needed to create your own custom size, you can simply come over here to custom size, select how you want your measurements to be in, and then you can enter the width and height manually here. If you needed to create a design with the pre-template size here, the pre-made template size here, there's tons. You have US letter size, you have the size for Instagram posts, presentation card, flyers. You can simply just select any of these here and your dimensions will already pre-populate onto your canvas. For me, I already designed and size, like I first stated, so I'm going to go ahead and click on all designs. We're going to be using these three designs here. Each of these are for each of the three piece bathroom sets. We're going to start off with the toilet mat first. My toilet mat size is 30.5 inches in width and 20.5 inches in height. That gives me enough lead to place my mat and ensure that all of the mat is, is sublimated properly, like a full bleed sublimation product, okay? This is so easy to make, you guys. What I'm going to do is um, click on add page to simply show you how I've done it. I went over here to elements and I will type in the search bar Christmas background. Okay. And there's tons of Christmas backgrounds to choose from. For some reason, the this particular background isn't coming up. So what I have to do is I have to go to um, my most recent used and select it here. So that's what I'm going to do. All I do is take my cursor, stretch it out like so. Then I just manually typed in Merry Christmas and I chose a cute little font. So to do that, 
you'll go over here to text, add a heading, type in Merry Christmas. Bring it down so we can, whoops. Bring it down so we can see. And then you can go ahead from there and change it to the font that you want to use. So many options to choose from. Then, let me see, what's the name of this font that I don't use, y'all? Um, let me see. I don't even remember the name of this font that I used. I think it was part of the, the, the a template that I used um, in Canva. But like I said, the the options for fonts are limitless all right then you can go ahead and change it to any color that you want you know you can do red you can do gold you can do maroon you know you can do any holiday colors and then it's all it's all set you you are good to go now i'm going to go ahead and delete this because we're going to be using this right here I will click on download. I'm gonna download it as a PNG. And I'm gonna click download here. Once it's finished downloading, um, hold on, I don't know what happened that fast. I'm gonna, um, I don't know why that did that. Generally, the download will come will populate over here on the left hand side. But let me see what's going on. Let me click on the three dots and click on download here. Download. All right, so it's coming up up here. I'm gonna click on open file. And then this is ready for printing. I'm going to click on the print icon. We're going to be using our F570 today. We're going to change it to landscape. We need one copy. We're using our roll tray, our roll paper. And I'm going to select a um Let's see, that's 24 by 36. That's a good size, but let's see if we can. Okay, so I'm gonna select the paper size as A1 23.39 by 33.11, just to, I don't have to waste so, so much paper. I'm gonna click on DS transfer general purpose textile because we are printing on a soft substrate. Textile is, will be selected if you're printing on soft sub substrates, polyesters, soft fabrics. Rigid is for hard surfaces substrates. So we're going to click on this. And we're just going to leave the rest as is. We want to go to more settings. We want to make sure that everything is good here. For output quality, we always want to make sure that it's max quality to give us the best quality results. And then color, of course, we're going to click on color instead of monochrome. We're going to go ahead to print. Okay, the Epson print preview will populate and it's going to show us how our design is going to print. You can see that it's saving us much paper by cutting it off right at the end. And that's what I love about the printer as well. You have the option to have the printer cut it so you can save more paper. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click on print. And I'll bring you over to the printer. Same thing for the other, for the other items as well. All right. All right. You just go back to 
home, all designs, and then you click on whatever we're working with next. I went ahead and titled each one so I can know what I'm working with. It's the same process. I just sized it to the dimensions of what we need, clicked on download, and so on and so forth. All right, it's the same process. It's very, very easy to use, y'all. So let's head over to the printer. So here is our print. It is printed mirror. So from your perspective, it's going to look backwards. That is what it's supposed to look like. Because when we press it, it's going to press the proper way. So you always want to make sure you're printing in mirror. All right, yeah. So first, we are going to prep for pressing. I'm going to take my lint roll brush. And I'm just gonna lint roll this mat. This mat is a little, um, it's a little, it got like little spots in it. I think what happened was because I had these for so long, um, we got hit by Hurricane Ida and I had these down in, you know, in storage and it kind of sort of got messed up. So I think that's where that came from, but we could wipe it with a baby wipe. This is gonna be for me anyway, y'all. So, but I'm just lint rolling to make sure we get all of those little lint fibers out. Okay. Now, what I'm finna do is I'm gonna put this to the side real quick because we're gonna use our candy dye spray for this, and I need space. I'm gonna take my transfer and I'm gonna lay it flat. I have a piece of parchment paper underneath because it could get a little messy. Okay. I'm, ooh, I'm gonna shake my dye trans condi spray up, and I'm just gonna spray all over the transfer, like so. Done. That's it. Put that there. Now, let me see if I can move this press over a little bit. Ugh. Put some space. Alright, so I'm just going to move this over a little bit. We're going to take... It's got a little dent, dent in it too. It's a little dent right here. So, this mat is all jacked up, y'all. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mat and I'm going to put it face down like so. As even as possible. Remember, we made this design slightly larger so we can have some bleed. I could bring it down a little bit more. bring it over a little bit too y'all all right that should be good we finna make it do what it do all right so I'm just pressing it down this is the paper is a now tacky paper and it stays on by itself with that condi spray I don't need to put no tape or anything like that. 
I have extra bleed room here. And we ready for pressing. So come over to the heat press. Now I am working with a 16 by 20 heat press. Let me just use this to protect my, my bottom. I'm working with a 20, a 16 by 20 heat press. So this mat is larger than the heat press, which means we have to press it twice. So I'm going to show you how that's done. We don't need a board or anything like that. I know some people like to use um, the boards. You go to Home Depot and use the boards to help you slide. But we don't need to do that with this. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm just going to move the heat press back over a little bit. Woo! The muscles. The muscles. All right. Now I have my heat press at 400 degrees and we're going to be pressing it for 60 seconds both times, okay? Let me just make sure. Alright, so the, the settings, um, the pressing settings aren't there. I'm going to push this to 60 seconds. I'm not going to pre-press any of these products. So both settings are going to be set for 60. All right, let me check the pressure. That should be good. All right, we have our tef um, our parchment paper here to protect the bottom from the bleed. We finna take our mat, and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the right side, like so. I'm just going to check to make sure the mat is actually on. I got to move the heat press over just a little bit, y'all. Normally, I would have um, done it on the floor. Done the Condi spray and the placement of the mat on the floor. But I ain't feel like getting down there tonight, y'all. So... I just moved the heat press over so I can have a little bit of space. And this is going to do just fine. Now we finna press 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Too much pressure. This is pretty thick. So we have to lighten the pressure a little bit. Still too thick. This should be good. Is that four? That should be good. 60 seconds. When we're done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to press the other side. Eight more seconds, y'all. Okay. While I was pressing, I realized that the pressure gone down a little bit. So I just adjusted a tad. Come closer. You can see. Look at that. That look like it's going to be good. So what I'm going to do is take the bottom of the mat on this side and just limp, simply slide it over. Like so. And we finna press for the second time. Let's see. I hope this works, y'all. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. And I'm gonna check. Let's see. Let's take a sneak peek. Woo! Y'all see that? That look good. Look at them colors. Okay, Espen. Okay. I said Espen. I got excited. It's Epson. Let's go, Epson. F570, let's go. Uh. Uh. 
talking about. Period. We got seven more seconds, y'all. All right. Let's see how this did. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, so I see where I messed up at. I, I had to press it an extra time. Uh, another an extra press time because I needed to get the edges here. The edges is completely cut off right here. So next time, what you do is you just slide it on over and you just press. Let me see. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna see if I were to place this back. I know. You don't never know unless you try something. I'm gonna try it for us to see if it works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can just press the corner. See if I can just line it up to the best of my ability. And we better see y'all. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Be careful, you don't want to burn your hands. Let's just see. We gonna see. It might work, it might not, but these colors is dope. You can see that I got a nice full bleed. Okay, this is part of the design, I don't know. But very, very nice, y'all. Look at those colors. So cute. When it's finished pressing, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna see if it worked or not. <laughs> Four more seconds. All right, let's see. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. You can see the the lining, but let me see if I could just take my lint roll. You can see the double press line right here. But it ain't that noticeable, y'all. <laughs> it ain't that noticeable. It ain't that noticeable, so let's get into it. Okay. All right, Matt, let's go. That is cute. All right, so with this, you want to make sure that you have to press it three times, okay? Three times, all in one, by simply sliding it all over. All right, so we're going to put this to the side. And now we're going to work with our top. I got my transfer already printed. I'm gonna grab it from the printer and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be working with the top of the toilet. Let me just click on print right here real quick. All right, we're gonna take our lint roll brush. It's the same process um, as we did for the mat. I'm gonna show you guys this one and then after we press, I'm going to show you the final product of all three because it's all the same process. I'm going to take our lint roll. Alright, that should be good. Put this to the side. 
take our condi spray spray a little boom 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 make it tacky take this lay it flat make sure we got all of the design and wording inside okay we got so much bleed left y'all i'm gonna try to just cut some of this out we don't need all of this way too much all right it's tacky ain't moving no tape no nothing okay put our fresh piece of parking paper down because if you left the one from the one that we just did for the mat it had that extra sublimation dye on it it can transfer onto your new substrate so we don't want that to happen start off with a fresh piece of parchment paper 400 degrees 60 seconds medium to firm pressure and i'll be right back to show you this all right y'all we are done pressing our bathroom holiday set okay let's get into this ew we got our mat we got our toilet top y'all and we got the little mat that goes around the toilet so can you so can you of course you can make these for any time of the season these are these will be great 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 sellers people love decorative you know um bathroom sets shoot you might even could just put the mat in the kitchen you can make something for the kitchen with some little waffle weavers to match it possibilities are endless so get into it that concludes our tutorial for today i hope you learned something if you like this video and it was valuable to your business or added any type of value to your life or your business <laughs> please give me a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video so until next time this is